We're still working on the Maynooth Pottery presentation and we're going to put in a bulleted slide next. We'll use this to show the sales staff and the area that they cover. We'll be looking at indenting our bullets in two different ways, so we're going to use a slide that has two bulleted text boxes. Click on the lower half of the new slide button and select the two content slide. Click into the title box and type in sales staff. Click down into the left box and we can see that these boxes can be used for one of seven different purposes. If we start typing, it becomes a bulleted box and the other six choices will vanish. So that's what we'll do. Type in area, covered, colon and enter. Type in north and enter. Type in Ed Delaney and enter. Type in Frank Mullins and enter. Type in South and enter. Type in Luisa Garcia and enter. And finally, type in Kevin Byrne. But don't press enter, as there are no further names to be typed. Now we'll indent some of our bulleted text using the ribbon. Click in front of the word North, and in the paragraph group we can see the Increase List Level button. Click on it once. Click in front of the word South and repeat. Now the name of that button, Increase List Level, it's too long, so I'll just call it the Indent button. Click in front of the name Ed Delaney. Click on the Indent button once, twice, to indent it under North. Repeat that again for Frank Mullins. Now we don't have to do each line individually. Let's highlight the last two names together and click the indent button once, twice. If we indent too far, we can always outdent as I like to call it. Click in front of the word north, click on the decrease list level button once. Again, the name of that button is too long so I'll call it the Outdent button. Now click in front of Ed Delaney and press it once, twice. Let's indent those two bullets again, then save our presentation. In the next video we'll put in bullets on the right side of the slide and we'll carry out the indent using the keyboard. If you're moving on to that next video called Indent Bullets Using the Keyboard, then you can keep this presentation open.